No, no, I, I need a, I need a new. Wait, th this one's new. I mean, I shouldn't face tank her, obviously. But we do so much damage. It's really, really. Come on, cup, cup of tea. What does it do? What does it do? I don't know what it does. Oh my god, I have no idea what it does. Okay. Um, what does the cup do? Uh, teacup. Intriguing design. Morning buzz. A jolt from a warm beverage that increases attack speed for a short duration. Attack speed. Oh. Cool. Beneath the tide, you'll see one day. Pollution skirt. Ah, no, I know. Wait, it's pollution scoured, right? No, scoured? Skirt? Scoured? Scour I, I don't remember. Shit, I forgot already. Pollution scoured, right? That was the word we're talking about. My brain can't remember it. No. No, was it? I can't remember. Shit. Gonna have to scroll up here. Um. I can't remember how to pronounce it. So my brain doesn't remember it. Scoured, right? Scourge, scoured. Okay. Um. At least it, uh, the game reuses the word quite often, so I can learn it finally. I want to hear it again. Uh, I'm, I'm, I don't have it in my like. It doesn't ring right. I say it, but it doesn't sound like it, it should. Um, scour, scour, okay, scour, okay. scoured. So, yeah, when you hear it, it, sounds right. But if you, it, it does need to go into my brain a little bit. Not, not an important word, but still. Um, royal wave. Subjugate enemies in front of you with a massive swipe of a dungeoness crab's claw, causing them to briefly take increased damage from all sources. That sounds really good. And it's an adaptation. I have no idea how they work. Uh, Holy Abalone. It's a loan shark, I get it. Um, there was a sh I didn't see the name before. There was a shell of a fight kid. You, you were watching the whole thing. I guess it was too much to ask that the soldiers caught you, you jerk. Baha, no such luck. I, d I hit as soon as everyone started going crazy. A survivor neck. A survivor never picks a fight he doesn't have to. See? See, Apricorn? I told you, right? Lone sharks do agree with me. Um, <laughs> you could learn a, a thing or two from a guy like me. Um, well, now the Duchess is. You know, um, so give me my shell back. You have no reason to keep it anymore, right? Hmm, this old thing, you know, I can barely remember how I got my fins on it anymore. Thinking I might just go pawn this off in the big city. Make myself a few microplastics. Yeah, can we sell it finally? What? You can't do that. A huster can do anything he can't get away with, kid. See me in the new... See me in new Carusinia Car if you want to buy this bad boy back from me. If no one else buys it at first, that is. No. When I get my hands on that guy, I swear I'm gonna RM. Yeah, I'm gonna kill him like everyone else, right? I've got to find a way after him. Power runs through you. You have learned your first adaptation. An attack learned from a powerful creature. that can be used even without a shell equipped. Use it with... Okay, maybe the key is shit. At the cost of Umami's charges. Wait, so this is basically a non-shell based attack. Um, why did you turn around? Okay, so we're gonna do it like um, I initially planned to. Um, because I do think the adaptations are gonna be more uh, consistent compared to the shell ability. Actually, I'm gonna say it right here. I think it is a mistake from the game to actually... Um, to actually add these abilities. The reason why I think they're bad is because the funny, the fun was like, you know, you had a shell with a different ability. It was just like fun trying them out, right? And I know they are adding this because they want to make the build more viable, but it kind of also takes away from the fun from experimentation and just trying out stuff, right? Because it's usually probably going to be better just to spam a good ad adaptation. Um, so I guess we're just going to go and 
change the controls again and never use the shells again. <laughs> Which feels bad, honestly, but it is what it is. Shell spell, goodbye. I don't know why you can't trigger this one with the trigger. <laughs> kind of weird. And we're gonna confirm. Yeah, and it is bug, right? It still shows RT, even though it was it's up by now. Um, going back to yeah, sure. Um, have fun. Um, if I'm working, and no, 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 you're coming, not coming across pedantic or so. I, like I said, I'm always very, very happy about um, any corrections that can reasonably. I mean, I'm happy about anything, right? Um, but I'm the most happy, obviously, about like criticism I can actually work with, right? <laughs> Saying you're saying something wrong wouldn't be helpful, right? But saying what I'm saying wrong is very helpful, and I'm very happy for any correction I get. Yeah, I, I literally am asking for it, so if, yeah, I'm happy about it. Um, yeah, touch the current, whatever, touch the current inside me. Yeah, this boss was really easy. Um, the only reason we died the first time was because we made the, the grave the big mistake of having a bad shell on our back and not being really tanky stat wise, I guess. Uh, yeah, I remember there were like hidden objects back here. And I do plan on getting back to the. Oh, this is a big one. I do plan on leveling that one, that one ability where you can recover your shell by attacking enemies very, very soon. Wait, is this the way we need to go? I think it is actually. I was like, oh, what a, what a nice secret path. But I don't think this one is secret at all. It's actually the way we need to go. I'm going to go head back and level the ability and also spend the points. I don't even know why I didn't spend them right away. Like the, I think the the size of objects is kind of really off. <laughs> it's like like the cotton sticks are really um, small, <laughs> and I mean I guess in general everything is kind of off when it comes to size. But that's not a big issue, right? It's just like it is what it is. Just it has to make sense in within the context of the world, I guess. You know what? There is nothing that's going to keep me from leveling attack. <laughs> and there's literally nothing. Everything we get here seems to be... I mean, does vita Vitality add more? And try it out, right? I do think it's just a normal Vitality stat you get. So. And I like there's important um, locations. Uh, how long are we going to go? keep going here? Um, I am thinking about um, taking a short break and then playing a little bit of Alan Wake. But I'm not 100%... But I haven't 100% decided yet if that's what I'm going to go for. But I do feel like... Would be a good stopping point. Or are you gonna go for the city, but the, the, the city's gonna be full of talking, right? Whenever I see cities in games, I'm like, ah, oh, not a busting place, right? I'm like a place of a lot of social interactions and in general, right? <laughs> I'm not the, the most social interaction focused person in real life. And in games, usually um, they often just fall down to text, so. Uh, learn skills, sure. Uh, the one we wanted was this one. Much has been lost to the waves over time. Some of the greed of sentient creatures. Some due to nature's processes and the unhalting march of time. Can what has been lost ever be recovered? If the clock could be reversed, w would that even be what's best for the world? The hermit crab supposes it can hurt to try. Um... Your shell. I mean, shell is literally my shell, right? It's not my my HP, right? 
I think. Like, this is cool, restoring here. I mean, spear fishing sounds kind of nice too, but honestly, I'm like really, really interested in the scrap hammer, to be honest. So I guess the next one we're going to go for is like the plunging attack, maybe. Um, I mean, shell is... Alright, self-repair. Um, shell health. Yeah, I think uh, it's literally the shell. Yeah, that's actually really good. Honestly, this is like this should be almost a core mechanic. It's just, it seems really, really good. Yeah, shelf repair. Very nice. Yeah, for now I'm like between a seven and an eight out of ten for this game. In my head, it's pretty close between the two, so it's it's hard to tell. The future, right, is gonna tell us if it's like whatever it is. Um. Definitely has a lot of good things going for it, too. But are we going to continue just a little bit more? Maybe just a little bit more, just a tiny bit. <laughs> you do be running. Yeah, interesting that it has traversal stuttering from like loading areas and stuff like that. Kind of honestly unexpected. It, they opened up a lot of doors here, but I don't think they're actually there is actually anything we need here. Honestly, I think this is the way we came, so Yeah, I don't think there is anything we need. And this is just like purely optional. Yeah, I'm enjoying the game, right? Um, but I don't know if I would recommend it right now for 30 bucks. The reason is there's so many good games, right? <laughs> that are uh, by now also on sale and are competing with this game. So it's literally competing with Elden Ring and stuff like that, right? So yeah, the, the, and for sure I would recommend Elden Ring over this, even though I might give it at the end the same rating. <laughs> for whatever reason, um, even at the same rating, I might still consider Elden Ring to be more in, uh, more worthwhile your money, depending on what you like in games, right? If you like platforming, obviously this game has more of that, so it's a bit more platforming oriented. But so far it has been very, very simple platforming, like no challenge at all. It's over, it's all over, why ain't it ever me, you know? Well, what's going on here? By the way, the game didn't play a lot around with fall damage. Fall damage is a very integral part to Souls games. And having areas that, like, are really dangerous because of their heights. And this game so far doesn't have that aspect at all. So, um, I mean, not, a, not at all, but... I mean, there are definitely areas where you could have fallen down, but it never fell down. So, basically, I don't know, didn't feel like... It was ever a big issue. Whoa, what's going on here? I'll tell you what's going on. I'm getting my carpus cracked by cruel, unfeeling forces. What? By, by cruel, unfeeling forces beyond my control yet again. That's what's going on. I just spent my whole savings on rare trash you can only get in the shallows. I could sell it off at profit in your car, 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 Carcinia, of course, and then use that profit to trade up my shell, and get myself something nice, you know. And now I come back here, the bridge to the city is completely collapsed. There's no way I can make it back without leaving all this trash behind. It's all over, man. I'm fully sh shocked. I'll be shallous within the tide. I guess I better find another way around if I want to get to the city. Thanks for the sympathy, pal. <laughs> I am literally, I literally don't give a shit. Wait, the bridge? Oh, this is the bridge. Right? I mean... Slight jazz vibes. Curious. Is this the way forward? Maybe. Maybe not. Maybe it is. <laughs> I was like, uh, I was contemplating just jumping down straight away, right? <laughs> but I'm not 100% sure about that.
Um, Oh, and hi, um, crazy fan on YouTube. I don't know if you're still there. <laughs> I can't see the chat in real time on YouTube. Um, the benefits of gun. I actually don't know what you mean. You mean the harpoon gun? Um, it, I mean, for me, it didn't work on enemies. Maybe we're going to try it again. Uh, a workable piece of metal, something someone can turn into something useful. Um, never mind, I ended up just getting the game. <laughs> I mean, you're not going to regret it, I think. It's, it's a fun game. I just think it's maybe a little bit pricey, but I haven't finished the game. Maybe it's like super long and whatever. So, I uh, have no idea. And then again, you know, money is just like, uh, it depends really on how much it is even a thing, right? If you have a lot of money, the game's not basically cheap, right? If you don't have a lot of money, the game's super expensive, so it's really relative, right? And if you have a lot of money, the game's definitely not going to kill uh, your budget. <laughs> um, that, that's the good thing about gaming, right? Gaming, even though high-end gaming might seem expensive, it's still relatively cheap compared to like other really expensive um, hobbies. So I think it's, it, it, it is not cheap, right, by any means, but it still isn't like super expensive. It's an okay hobby, right? Especially if you take advantage of like Game Pass, sales, subscription services, and you know, free games on Epic Store <laughs> and consoles, whatever, right? You have so many opportunities to get cheap hardware and software. So it's definitely a hobby that's very accessible from basically free. You just need your smartphone, which basically everyone has anyway. And up to high end gaming, which is still not really expensive, right? I'm just saying that, just imagine you're like a, a racing car fan. When I get some high-end racing car, oh, it's a million? Oh, shit. <laughs> right? That's what I mean, comparatively, right? If you're like a car fan, getting a good car and tuning that car is so much more expensive than getting actually a high-end PC. So it is, it is a very good um, scalable hobby, in my opinion. Um, then again, other hobbies are not that scalable. For example, if you want to go bouldering, either you're going to have to travel a lot or you're going to have to pay like a fee to go bouldering right in a in a, a climbing um gym and yeah so you don't really have a lot of choice there <laughs> um, usually, usually it's quite the same price everywhere a workable piece of metal okay i don't know no idea maybe we can increase our oh maybe the fork's gonna be improved since the fork seems to be the only weapon in the game i mean so far at least right here we could die by dropping down right Maybe now that I said it, the game's gonna turn up the fall damage sections and I'm not gonna regret saying anything. Oh, that's cool. A saw's nozzle. It has a twist top. Twist the, cur uh, the currents around you to spin at high velocity, damaging any enemy hit by the vortex. Yeah, it was like, whatever. Yeah, sure. I mean... Um, I'm always like uh, recommending games based on like you know what I would expect the value relative to other games, um, but I'm for sure uh, sure that a lot of people are going to enjoy the game. It's a very enjoyable game, right? Yeah, sure, sure. Um, I'm gonna play Alan Wake like after a break anyway, in like maybe 40 minutes or so. so we're not gonna play too much longer, but yeah, I would probably advise um, since I'm like a very very anti-spoiled person. Uh, to uh, not watch games you want to play yourself unless you don't really don't care about spoilers. Yeah, it's kind of weird, right? I'm streaming games. I'm saying don't watch them if you don't want to be spoiled. Most people on Twitch obviously didn't play the game they're watching. Um, or they, I mean, rewatch it, right? I, what I do usually, I do um, like to watch games I'm playing, but I do always end up watching VODs. I usually watch like 50-50 live, 50% uh, um, is going to be... Just a VOD. Yeah. So for me, this is basically the way I roll. Everyone has like 
personal preferences. Hello, do you want to get my fucking umami attack in your face, bitch? And then we have bonus damage, which kind of, honestly, it kind of feels like just killing. Just a charge attack is so much better than... Wow, that's so... Wait, can we move at least by doing this one? Oh, yeah, we can. Okay, so it's like um, a whirlwind. Yeah, okay, I just complained about... Um, uh, the verticality aspect of the game, I um, guess. Uh, I mean, the fall damage aspect mostly. I guess now um, they took on that criticism. I can't target lock this shit. I think if an enemy is behind you, the target lock doesn't actually work. I do kind of want to see if spinning does a lot of damage. Hmm. You know, I would say I've seen worse. Wow, that was a lot of damage. Um, bro? What the fuck? Still alive with 1 HP? Oh my god, and it's like within this... We're gonna... Hi. I wish you could queue charge attacks, man. I would literally want a skill that does that. Charge attacks are just so good. And having to wait for the next attack not to be a normal attack. Also kind of ask. Oh man, we can maybe repair this one. What, what, what does it do actually? Oh yeah, right. It has like this defensive, defensive ability here. I do wonder, is this ability any good? It does have a little bit of stun too. And then they take an additional damage. I fell broken after one hit. Um, I, d I died because <laughs> I'm an idiot. Imagine dying to this enemy. Holy shit. What a clown. But seriously, uh, what the fuck? These, uh, these enemies are so easy. <laughs> we shouldn't be. I mean, the target lock doesn't work, okay? Seriously. I can't fucking target. I, I can't even attack. Why? I'm literally holding the attack button. And I tried to target lock a fucking 10 times. Okay, I, I see where this is going. Um, oh, you don't uh, die instantly. Well, that is a good idea, maybe, because they seem to be going ham with um, all damage stuff here. Wait, did they respawn? Nah, they wouldn't respawn from that, right? What the fuck? I mean, it's pretty okay, honestly. But I do think, like, the other attack is gonna be better. I thought it was a treasure chest. Don't ask me why. Party's over, bitch. I mean, it's honestly just worse than what we have. Like, the cap is pretty good. Okay, this crab is really strong. Where's my... where's my shit? There it is. All we need to do is just charge attack them. They're gonna die. I wish I could just double charge attack them. And this one seems like to take two normal attacks or like a charge attack against this guy. No idea. Oh, we already used one. Want to do wall run. Right, the Prince of Persia has a cool mechanic that's like 2D wall running. I think that's a really, really funny, uh, fun mechanic. I, oh, what the fuck? Generous with the healing here. We didn't, didn't level our defense at all. Is it like slippery or here? I don't know. It says detour. Um, good, because we're gonna take a detour. Ah, oh, then we're gonna go back there, like classic Miyazaki loop. <laughs> um, wait, this seems to be the way forward, right? I kinda get the feeling they're gonna spawn some annoying piece of shit enemy on the bridge. 
Wait, 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 we can jump this, man, for sure. I mean, normal attacks are fine, too. Yeah, not being able to actually... I'm gonna die here, I feel it. I feel it in my shell. I literally pressed dodge there, I don't know. I literally pressed it. It probably is because of the sprint equals uh, the let go dodge, right? You have to let go to dodge, so I guess pressing it wasn't enough. Yeah, we're dying against weak enemies because in my brain I'm like not quite sure if I just want to charge attack spam. I mean, I'm not targeting these bitches again. And charge attack is just so good. But normal attacks against these guys also kind of nice. I still don't know what a good strategy against the fucking fish is, man. The fish seems to be really, really annoying. Right, we don't have a shell. I completely forgot. That's really bad. We need a shell. Really? Wow, what a bitch. <laughs> Kidding me. I, I died because I wanted to loot the healing and instead swap the shell, which threw me off the edge. It is, that's, that's fucking stupid. <laughs> Hi. Yeah, killing this one as quickly is really important. I feel like taking damage was a really good decision. A low time to kill is gonna ensure a lot of fast clears. Remember, did we go here first? I think so. Yeah, good decision not to insta-kill you for dropping down. Oh, they just have like a sponge that knocks you back. Okay, so I think we went over here. But we didn't die to this guy, we died to another one. I think it was just right after this hook here. I mean, fuck. You know what? Fucking die, bitch. Okay, we're gonna die. Not gonna die. The camera is really, really janky here. Holy. Is it ever janky? Oh my god, what are we gonna do against a lot of enemies? I actually don't know. Because my entire strategy basically is just like. spam charge attacks. Oh my god, the, the combo so slowly, and then I never think it's gonna be a combo. I'm like. The head is like sure it's not going to be a combo. Yes. A sea star. I don't remember what they do. Um, we still don't have more stow. Um, we don't have more stowaway storage available. Yeah, we won't make that, nope. The game is quite um, generous when it comes to heals. Just... I guess appreciate it. Because <laughs> you do take damage from ra ra random nonsense quite a lot. Just to prove my point, right? <laughs> I just said to... Oh my god, whoa, 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 you're crap, man. Don't be. Oh my god, what the fuck are you doing? Why did you slip down? What's. I was literally charge attacking. You can't walk while charge attacking, right? No, you can't. Okay. Um. Yeah, the complaint about fall damage, people are probably gonna laugh about it if they know the game. Um. There's almost no fall uh, place where you can fall down. I take that back, they definitely um, just did it for the first area. And traversal now seems to be more fun and 
mean, it depends on what you think is fun. It's so an. I mean, yeah, right. We also wanted to show the grappling hook. The one person said it's good, but I don't know. The gun doesn't seem to do anything against them. Maybe I mean we don't we don't have the skill yet. Maybe that's sometimes that, that's a problem um, that people watch someone that has an ability another person doesn't have. I, this is like eights. I, I just I literally can't unlock him. I couldn't unlock him. I literally couldn't fucking unlock him, man. Okay, this is one of the worst combat encounters I've ever had in a Souls game. Like the the area here, together with the moveset and the enemy, made for one of the most obnoxious fucking experiences I can imagine. Uh, I think we can't get back up, right? <laughs> okay, there seems to be some kind of... It's so janky. Holy shit. It's like playing Elden Ring, but this feels like ice, right? It, if is, it, is this FPS related? I can't imagine the devs thinking this is a good idea. If, I mean, if it is imp uh, unintended, okay, whatever. But it does feel like horrible. Thank you for the heal, man. I really appreciate it. Can you? Yeah, the target lock sometimes is garbage. Sometimes it is garbage. Thanks for again dropping the heal into oblivion. <laughs> Yeah, the movement is so janky. And I think the problem is that the level design exacerbates this problem quite a lot, right? <laughs> I mean, they didn't actually go for easy level design, which I do appreciate in a way, right? It is definitely more interesting. But it also obviously showcases the limitations more. And one of the reasons why Elden Ring feels a bit less jank when it comes to combat than Souls games in a lot of situations is because it's just a flat big area, right? It's not like a small intricate area where like every error in the level design basically becomes easily visible by like, the camera getting bugged and your character just like not doing what it should be doing, right? And here it's like they went for a very, very interesting approach here by adding a lot of I think the left one's optional I think oh my god I'm not 100% certain to be honest the good thing is I like platformers right <laughs> Uh, I'm, a, I'm a big fan of platforming, so for me, the game having platforming is a plus. I know there will be people that literally hate platforming, and they will think this is fucking annoying and ruins the game. And I think it's something you should be aware of when you buy the game. It has platforming, it's not difficult, but still, it is there, right? Wait, this one is medium and has rollout? Cool. Hey there, pal. Do you like going fast? No, I hate it. Well, it's your lucky day, because you're gonna need some wicked speed to get over that ramp down there. Interesting. Walking ain't gonna cut it, neither is sprinting even. No, sir. Okay, and that's where I come in. Pablo, five-time snail racing league champ at your service. They had to give us snails our own league because we're so damn fast. Okay, I'm gonna tell you how to get speed so insane. Your grandma's antenna will be twisting in her grave. Or maybe she's still alive. Sorry, that was a little insensitive. Anyway, either way. But trust me, this kind of crazy movement will peel your gills back. It'll dry out your exoskeleton while you're still underwater. It'll boil you into your damn shell if you're not careful. And worst of all, it'll turn you into a permanent speed demon who can't even form words if they're not moving at high velocity and Sonic the Hedgehog. Are you ready to accept that kind of risk? Because a lot of people say they are, and before you know it, bam, addicted to speed. Seen it happen to a lot of good critters down there. So I gotta ask one more time, you sure? Yeah, why not? Okay, so basically you're just gonna wanna sprint towards the ramp and then press the ro the block button. What? Really? Sprint and block. 
Oh! I did not know. <laughs> I did not know. But is this the way forward? It looks like the way forward. Maybe... I'm so confused. Which, which way is forward? <laughs> which way is not forward? I mean, there seems to be a long way to go that way too. But this seems like a one-way thing, right? And there's a checkpoint over there, so I'm just gonna go the other way first. I might regret this. I... Nice camera, bro. Yeah, we should just normal attack this guy. Charge attacking just feels terrible against him. I kind of also want to jump super far, but... Oh my god, no fucking way he moved. I didn't think he was gonna move. Fuck it. Um, I also want to jump super far, um, but obviously... We're a small little crab, so... Uh, what? Wait. Oh no, this is like a dead end. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, I hate waiting for elevators. Yeah, I really, really hate waiting for elevators. Man. I mean, it's not elevators, it's a platform, right? But still. Just fly. What is this even? Oh my god, really? <laughs> they really want to push their luck when it comes to level design, right? What the fuck? Um, wait, what? I'm so confused. Why did I fight them? There doesn't seem there doesn't seem to be anything here. It must have to do with this block, right? But we can't go here yet. I think there's gonna be some kind of ability or whatever with umami powers that's gonna unlock the way here. Because it also gives you mommy, right? Yeah, so I don't think we're actually gonna have to... Uh, not have to, we're not gonna be able to go there, right? Okay, so sprint and then block. That worked out quite well. <laughs> Speed and momentum. Okay. We made progress. Nice. Nice. Um, I think I'm going to take the break now. Uh, I think this is... Um, we're still in the city, but it's still going to take a little bit longer to get there. But this is going to be it for today. Uh, when it comes to another crab's treasure. Um, we're going to play a little bit of Alan Wake afterwards, I think. So... I guess that, that's the plan for today. And I really do need to fucking get the YouTube chat in real time working at some point. Fuck me, man. Maybe I should put a notice that I uh, don't read chat on YouTube. <laughs> I only record it so you can watch it in better quality. But I do wish I could, right? It would be very nice. Maybe I should just get a... Um, I have an old iPad, right? It's like generation 3 or something, so like really old. And maybe I should just fucking get it. And set it up in a way that actually enables me to see it. But the thing is, I know why I'm not using it anymore. It was because actually um, the Twitch app was discontinued on it. <laughs> Which is, I mean, I guess logical, but the weird thing is it worked and then it didn't work. And it didn't change a lot, right? But it just doesn't work anymore. Okay, so did she just give me one? It's like terrible. No, 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 we're all physical, man. We're super physical. I like how they're really upfront with the percentages, though. You don't have to guess or anything. We have 29. 30, I think we can get the next one. But the next one is not for today. Um, yeah, so um, first impression is probably something between a 7 and an 8 out of 10. Um... 
Bro, um, very um, cool game design, I guess, in general. It's, fu it's fun game design. Um, and I like the vibe of the game, the art style, like the, the you know, the storytelling and everything. The, the settings, cool. It's fun, right? It's, it's cool. Not crap. But where the game does um, leave to be um, a little, um, well, is a little bit to uh, be desired is, um, I guess, like combat feeling, like how impactful attacks feel, how it feels to defeat enemies, right? It just feels a little bit weak and not very, very impactful. Um, and also like the visual department, it, it, it looks fine, right? But it also looks very minimalistic and basic, and especially when you compare it to other games in the same price point, like No Rest for the Wicked, which is obviously one of the best games in that price point, I guess, from a visual perspective. But still, I have to compare it, right? Um, it does stand in a quite simplistic area, and also the audio design in general is kind of like stereo audio, and it, it lacks a little bit of impact in general, right? So if they would fix these things, like especially the audio, like the combat feeling, if that would be a bit better, and it wasn't quite as janky to it moments, like it feels a little bit janky from uh, from time to time, right? Um, yeah, I think they would be way better, just like a little bit less jank and a little bit more. Um, I I wouldn't even say polish, right? Just it's really hard to get these things right once you have so much already done from the game. I don't think they're ever going to be able to fix it, right? Because it's like the how the game is basically by now. But I still think it does add to a little bit less enjoyment overall. So yeah, that's why seven to eight out of ten. But um, definitely a fun game. Um, no idea how the, if the price point is justified yet because I didn't play that much. Um, that's going to be very dependent on the content, I guess, too. Because, you know, usually, obviously, a game can be 30 bucks and really short. Um, but then it really has to do BAM, right? And th that's not it so far, right? But it really has to also bring in the content to salvage the price, in my opinion. Yeah. Since it's on Game Pass, right? I can play it, like, for way less. So, I don't know. I always feel bad, right, when comparing that. Because it kind of makes the game instantly compete with, um, uh, you know... As soon as it is not on Game Pass, it feels like a bad deal to me because it is on Game Pass, right? So if you're playing it on Steam, if you're playing it on PlayStation, if you're playing it on Switch, immediately it feels like a bad deal because you can get a ba way better deal by playing it on Game Pass. So, yeah, that's a good, that, can, but that's not what I'm trying to talk about, right? Because that's always the case immediately, right? Persona 3 Royal, I reloaded, instantly a better deal on Game Pass, right? I'm, I'm talking about irrespective of. Um, it's availability on Game Pass. Because obviously, if you can play it on Game Pass, go ahead, right? <laughs> Install it and play it. There's not much to do there if you have Game Pass. It's definitely recommend it try out, because it is fun. But if you have to buy it, and you didn't play all the other... I mean, it's different enough, right? It's its, its own thing, right? So I'm, I'm going to say... Actually, it's really hard to say play all the other, other games first, because it obviously has a lot of different things going for it, but... Still, I'm not sure if I would play this one as my first Souls like. <laughs> yeah. So that's the first impression. Um, we're gonna continue tomorrow with the game. I'm gonna take a break of probably like half an hour uh, to absolutely max an hour. And then I'm gonna play a little bit of Alan Wake 2. Or I don't know, maybe two hours or so. So um, as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later.